Circular motion. When an object moves in a circular motion, its velocity is always changing. The speed of the object moving in a circle might be constant, but its velocity is changing because velocity is a vector quantity. The direction of travel is always changing at each point. At this point, the velocity is this side. At this point, the velocity is this side. So the velocity direction is always changing, hence the velocity is changing. This change in velocity, this change in velocity produces an acceleration which is always directed towards the center. If there is an acceleration produced, there must be a force producing this acceleration which is also directed towards the center which is known as centripetal force. This force needed to make something follow a circular path depends upon a number of factors. One is the mass. More the mass, the greater mass requires a greater force when the speed and the radius are kept constant. Second is speed. A faster moving object requires a greater force when the mass and radius are kept constant. And last but not the least is the radius. A smaller radius requires a greater force to keep the speed and radius constant.